Are emojis just for fun or do they mean big business? Hi, I'm Tanya Hall for ZDNet, and joining me is Michael Afric. He is the founder and CEO of Inmoji. Welcome, Michael. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks for having me. So what is Inmoji? Um, well, Inmoji is a platform and a software development kit um, where we power um, clickable emoji icons. So essentially what we've done is we've taken the typical emoji and its behavior, but we've added a step where you're able to actually click and then have a rich media experience. So that could be finding uh, locations, uh, streaming audio, watching videos, purchasing tickets, whatever it may be all inside an icon. And we've taken all of those, we, we put those collectively in a library of content that we allow users to discover and then share through messengers. So talk about the augmented behavior context of Inmoji. Well, so as it is today when you send an emoji or you're um, going through a, a, a bunch of content on your phone and then you're selecting the emotion that you're trying to express, what we've done is we've taken that same sort of approach with a library and we allow you to find a piece of content, say a Starbucks icon and tap on it. When you do, um, it will actually open a, a campaign page and in there will be a list of Starbucks locations closest to you, a deep in bed to Uber to, to get a ride to a Starbucks and you can actually share that with someone and then try to meet them at that Starbucks. Um, you could watch a movie trailer and then tap on a link to get tickets and all that is encompassed inside that one icon. So the sender uh, is able to preview all that content and then share that with their friend. You certainly had some really big clients. You mentioned one of them, Starbucks, uh, Walmart to name uh, another, and Red Bull. So these are pretty big brands who are trying something very innovative. What is it that they have in mind when they approach you to help them with some sort of you know, campaign? Well, I think the first part is, you know, messaging, messaging has become the new frontier to a lot of people. Messaging is the new social. And I think what you have is um, you have brands that are all trying to, you know, dip their toes in and see what it's about. Everyone knows that the masses are here. There's hundreds of millions of people on any one of these major apps that are all talking. And to get into those conversations, the authenticity and the real nature of those conversations, one-to-one, peer-to-peer connections, is the holy grail for brands. So if they can find a way to get into this uh, environment and, and be involved in these real communications, that's a win for the brand. So it's all about, for them, I think now, um, finding that way in, finding the way, the Trojan horse to be involved in those conversations in a way that isn't intrusive. And I think we provide them with that. So you're actually working with uh, Mexican avocados during the Super Bowl for their Guac World campaign. Can you talk about what that looks like? Um, yeah, so uh, we're working with them and we've developed uh, a number of things for them. First is we've created standalone apps in iOS and in Android where people are able to use all of our functionality and they can get users to download those. We've also brought them on to uh, all of our, our distribution uh, points, whether that be in Tango or Facebook Messenger or whatever it may be, and we create the icons in our libraries where hundreds of millions of people are able to discover them and share them, um, all the unique experiences that we're providing. Um, and then at the same time, we've also powered their Guap World website. Um, and what we've done is we have our our emoji icons on the actual avocados from Mexico big game day website where users can tap on an emoji, have an experience from there, and then share that to any of the messengers from the web. Um, and then we've also debuted with them our Picmoji feature, which we're uh, very, very happy about. It's, it's patent pending. And uh, basically, we've combined the selfie and the emoji for the first time ever, allowing someone to find a emoji that they're connecting with emotionally, tap on it. When they get inside of that, they actually are able to take a photo. And then if they like, they can attribute a filter on top of that. Then they're able to share that inside a messenger. And their friend then gets that emoji. And when they tap on it, they get to see the filter inside of their friend. So that sounds very transformative, certainly for advertising. We're talking about using emojis, and I'm actually kind of a big fan of the emoji. I like using them, but I'm not sure I'm the actual average user of emojis. What kind of age demographics are you looking at when it, you talk about using emoji? You know, I think, you know, it, it used to be a little more like you're talking about, you know, Generation X, Z maybe, and staying away from people a little bit on the, you know, 30 and up, you know, I'm not sure, but I think that really is, you know, starting to wear off. I think people, look, I, I get them from my mom at this point. I'm getting emojis from my 72 year old mother. You know, obviously, you know, you've crossed a lot of barriers to get to that point when you've reached that sort of critical mass. So I think the days of it being really just for one 
of the of the demographics is is really declining and and really it's it's becoming everybody it's an everybody thing now it's reached critical mass it's it's in the in the, in the pop culture um and that's why i think you're starting to see brands end up here too because you know initially all, all brands are a little shy about um getting involved in new mediums because they're not sure if they're for real they don't know if they want to you know put their name to that but you're seeing that all start to change and 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 i think you'll start seeing that more and more and i'm actually very proud that that we're involved in something as big as the Super Bowl because it really shows that we're one of the brands that are innovating in this space and bringing people to the next level. Pick Boji, you've mentioned, is patent pending. You mm. have boasted a 100% click-through rate with really 1 billion plus users having access to the platform. What kind of numbers are you hoping for from the Super Bowl? Oh, I didn't think you were going to ask that. Uh, from the Super Bowl, you know, I think we'd love to see, you know, we're, we're already garnering, getting close to being able to project out over 10 million video views. Um, and then I think, you know, 10 million plus, hopefully, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of clicks on, on maybe one particular platform. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. This is our first foray on a stage this large. Um, so I, I'm very hopeful. Uh, I don't want to say anything and, and be too, uh, too hopeful, but, uh, I, I, it's going to be big. And I think, uh, I would love to do a follow up with you and I'll, I'll give you all the, the data dump afterwards, but I think it's going to be big and it's going to be very real. That's maybe the more important part is that the, the, the data that we bring is very real data because this is, this is information that's being passed between two people. You know, the days of people taking content and throwing it up on a wall on Facebook or, you know, wishing somebody happy birthday on LinkedIn that they never met and all that kind of fodder that was in the air. That's very different from the very, very true connections that we're dealing in. So I, I just think, you know, clicks, views, all those things that we provide are far more meaningful. They have a lot more depth to them and they're, and they're more impactful to the brand on what really is going on in the world around the, the conversation around that brand. And so, you know, I, I, I'm excited to see the very large numbers from this campaign, but I will be even more excited to tell you sort of the, the real genuine exhaust that comes from it. Do you provide any data or do you track any data with the clients on your product uh, in Boji uh, as it relates to actual purchases? Um, we can to, to a degree. Um, you know, we're always trying to get even more and more refined down to, you know, down to the actual POS, the point of sale. Um, we do use some third parties that help us track the, the user from receiving our icon to showing up in that store. Um, so yeah, we do use some third parties to get that. And then on our end, personally, we're tracking clicks, impressions, engaged clicks, which is where our 100% rate comes from. And, um, and so we're able to really you know, see a, a, a large swath of information around what we do. Um, and at the same time, we take most of that, if not all of it, and it's, and it's very sort of unpersonalized in the sense that we're not interested in exactly who you are. We sort of batch that all together and come up with some very interesting buckets of, of information that we can give back to a brand. You actually had a very interesting start in your career. It is, you didn't just start off in technology or uh, founding any sort of tech company. You actually started being an online perf uh, uh, a performer, a music performer, opening for NSYNC, working, I think, for Disney. Isn't that right? Look what you yeah, I was uh, I was signed to Hollywood Records back in the day, and I was uh, which is owned by Disney, and uh, I was the opening act for NSYNC and Britney Spears uh, for for quite some time, and then toured the world, had a couple number one hits with other artists, and it was a it was a fun time, and uh, made this made the change, used both sides of the brain in life, and enjoying what I'm doing now very much. What are some things that you've learned from your first career that you're applying being a founder and a CEO? don't burn any bridges. <laughs> That's a big one. I can tell you that. I mean, a lot of the people that I work with today um, are people that uh, are, that I knew from my past, you know, um, everybody grows up, everybody moves up, everybody changes. And um, you know, people that I met that were interns at radio stations are now VPs at Disney and people who I met, you know, who are, you know, tour uh, managers are now managing brand at, at, you know, a, a big brand of fortune 500 companies. So, you know, that and then just I, I think the entrepreneurial spirit is in you or it is not. Um, certainly to believe in yourself and sell yourself as an artist, it, it's, a, it's a quality that you either have or you don't. Um, 
even just to sort of have the ability to put yourself out there like that. And I think similarly, when you're an entrepreneur, you know, you got to go out, you got to raise money, you got to sell yourself again, you got to sell your company, you have to sell a dream. Um, and at the same time, you have to have the people skills to get a team behind you to help you succeed because you never make it on your own that way. So I think I take all those sort of skills and, and that's really helped me be who I am and for better or for worse, it, it's made me, you know, get where we've gotten today with, with me sitting where I sit. So um, I try to use all the, all the things that I learned in my past because otherwise, you know, you have a, a, a toolbox that you, you never use, which doesn't make a lot of sense. That's true. There's always something to apply. You know, I'm a big fan of emoji, so I'm excited to see what you're doing at Emoji and certainly uh, what the campaign at, at, that you're going to have for the Super Bowl. So I got to ask you, what is your favorite emoji? Oh, I don't, you know, I use emojis a lot uh, when I'm texting about my daughter. Huh. So it's a lot of little hearts and kissy faces. And then I usually sending them to my mom to look at. But now I've been using our product a lot. I take a lot of little pick emojis with my daughter in it. And that's really my favorite. So taking like a little heart and then inside of it, putting a picture of my daughter and I and sending it to my parents or uh, to, to friends. And so I think our new product is, is actually making me re-fall in love with uh, some of the basic emojis again. And then obviously I'm starting to get pretty excited about what we can do uh, and what I'm seeing happen with avocados from Mexico. All right. Well, you heard it here. The digital transformation of marketing is in emojis. Welcome. And thank you so much again, uh, Michael, for joining me. If somebody wants to follow you or find out more about emoji, how can they do that? I would say probably the best is emoji.com. Um, and then I think we're also at, at emoji on Twitter. All right. Well, uh, thanks again. And uh, if you want to follow me and more of my interviews, you can do so here on ZDNet or find me on Tech Republic. Maybe even connect with me on Twitter. I love Twitter. So I'm at Tanya Hall Radio on Twitter or find me on Facebook by searching for The Tanya Hall Show. Until next time. 